In this lecture, we will be optimizing as well as compressing all the images that are available on our website. So if we jump onto my site, you will be seeing that there are already so many images on the front of above the fold itself. So if you see there are 3, 4, 5, 6 and the background 7 image itself. Just scroll down 2 more, background and myself. Scroll down 4 more, scroll down 5 more and 1 more. If you scroll down at footer, there are approx 6 logos that are available. So there are a lot of images that we need to compress. Before that, just jump onto the Google and you will be seeing a section about suggestion and optimize image that Google has already indicated these much images on which I need to work and optimize. Also, if you jump on GT metrics, you will be seeing the same recommendation for images that we need to work on. Just suppose if you need high quality images, you can jump onto Unsplash. This is one of the best websites that provide free images, free stock images, and you don't have to pay anything. Just go to Unsplash and scroll down. You'll be seeing all the high quality images that they are providing and it actually fulfill all my requirements. So if I need something regarding computer images, I can just search about computer. There are almost 3000 images available and you can see all are high quality images and they are free to use. If you need similar website like this, you can use this particular tool that we were talking about earlier also. So you can get some free cool images without paying any penny. And now back to our work to optimize images. So there are three steps involved while image optimizing and compression. The first thing we need to understand is if we have an image on our website, it should be the perfect size for the particular need. So if I jump onto my footer, you will be seeing that I have six logos. They all are of high quality. If I open a particular logo, you will be seeing it is more than 300 by 300 pixel while my requirement is just 60 by 60 pixel. So if you see the requirement was 60 by 60 pixel and I'm using over 400 by 400 pixel. So one thing I need to do is firstly, I need to resize all the images according to the requirement. So if I jump for the Instagram logo, you'd be seeing this is a prox 500 by 500 pixel and my requirement was just 60 by 60 pixel. So this is the most important thing that I need to fix. Once I fix that, I need to start compression. So now you can understand there are two or three processes that are involved and you need to create three folder while working on any project. One is the original image. Second is the resized image. Third one is the compressed image. So all your images that involve in your project should be an original image. Resize them according to the need of this particular website or the particular space of your website. Once you resize them, compress them and then upload on your server. So that's how the process should follow. Instead of using this original image on your server, you are just wasting the space that is available as well as request every time. So website has to serve this big image and then they have to compress it. Then they have to resize it on your, their own. So that will actually kill the time. So I have a prox, a prox 20 image that should be resized and compressed. I just downloaded them in a particular folder. So these are the images that I need to resize and compress. So this is the original folder that I was talking about. I have all the images in this. Now I have an awesome tool for you. It's called Photopia dot com it is our online photoshop and you don't have to pay it's free just visit the website and start using so i need 60 by 60 for my photo go on file click on new and use 60 by 60 as the size that you require here if you have a background white image just go on this particular tool called as quick selection and you select this magic wand select the particular background delete it now you have a transparent background now one important thing i need to do is add that particular image so what i do is just drag it over the requirement phase now the image is of 600 by 600 so what i can do is 
click on this particular sidebar you have the resizing option i would be doing this 10 percent so now have the image here drag it at the middle now you have the image i uh, just zoom it so you can see it more perfectly okay our image is now ready go to file export as png and save it according to your need you can also change the quality as well as you can understand the size of this particular quality so i need to do for a lot of images and then save in my resize folder so instead of checking me how i'm doing all the images you can just go to this website and start doing here i will be doing for my background images as well as all the images that are involved in my content so that would be easy for both of us i would be taking a pause and then resizing all the images so now resizing is done if i go to this particular ig image it is of 430 kb and 600 by 600 is the dimension and if i check out my resized image it is of 8 kb that is from 400 to 8 kb and the dimensions are 60 by 60 so you can imagine how well we are doing with resizing itself so first you need to resize all the image now the important task is to compress them so here is another website that i recommend highly if you are a developer you can use their api they provide 500 images every month and you can buy their premium package according to your need and for wordpress there is a plugin available but for now we will be doing manually to reduce my wordpress website load so just go to this website tinypng.com they serve for png as well as jpg and firstly i will be adding these four images that is my background This might take few minutes or few seconds according to image. Now you can see almost each and every image is decreased by 50 to 60 percent and that is excellent. We are going well. Now you just need to do is download these images in a compressed folder. So similarly you need to download all the image after doing this. So once all the optimization is done, you can check that almost each image have at least 20% of compression. Some has crossed 60%, 40, 50 is normal. So this is a great saving. I guess we can save approx, approx, how much they have. Okay, we have 59% of average saving that is 2 MB and we are going good. So just download all the image in compressed folder. You don't need to do this hassle if you are using their API or their plugin. Since I'm not loading much content on my website, that is my particular supremshada.com. So I haven't added this plugin or API. You can do that if you upload on a regular basis. If you are updating daily one blog post, it is easy to optimize outside your website. So if you compare for a moment, or both the files have 20 images now. And the size is decreased from 3.27 MB to 1.26 MB. So we have one third already for all our website content. And this is something great we have done. Now what you have to do is just upload the images that is our new images, compressed images on your website. 